What? What's going on everyone? Sweet Daddy Brown here and we're back with another episode of Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. I was about to say Shadow of the Colossus for some reason. In a previous episode we defeated the dragon and what the hell is this? Is this a pawn? Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's just a random pun. And then the Duke <laughs> got old because he made a deal with the devil, aka the dragon here. Which we took out and did not end well for the Duke Arini. He turned really old, got pissed off at me. Framed me. Got the town uh, left to wander for all time. That's very pessimistic. But got the guards all pissed off at us, chased us halfway through the town, and we fell in a big asshole. And who's this? Our descent was slow work and hard won. In the end, it claimed my master's life. This place is home to fearsome creatures, sir. Take care. I don't even know... Well, I do know where I am. Where did they ever fall? But... There are those among the pawns that haunt this place who attack any they see. I know not the cause of their corruption. Perhaps no one does. Alright. So while falling, I was able to grab onto a ledge that wasn't too far down. Which means we should be able to get some items. There's a fairy stone. Oh, does that mean I could just teleport out of here? Quick stone shard. Nice. But yeah, we got this badass hammer. As I figured, you got a new weapon depending on which one you were using against the dragon. So we got a hammer, a war hammer, because we were using a war hammer to beat the dragon. But you could have gotten a great sword, a staff, I think, a dagger, a bow, stuff like that. And uh, the war hammer does the most damage of all the weapons, so I guess it's all good. I'm not complaining, although I did want a great sword. This place feels like no other I've known. Holy Stay shit. Is that supposed to be Velkas or something? Oh. Alright, my dude. This is the first time I fight you, so be gentle. I can't damage you. What the fuck? Yeah, I can see that. So maybe if we take care of the tentacles first. Oh, holy shit. No, 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 no. Petrification cannot be cured by normal magic and is fatal if left untreated. Use secret softener or the like to cure any petrified allies. Alright, so that's bad. I'm pretty sure one of us has something to fit, so give me a sec. Alright, so I used the secret softener. Apparently, I had some. But I don't know how we're gonna fight this thing. I don't think we can at the moment. What is down here? I really have no idea what the hell we're doing. They just sent us down here. What is it? Oh shit, it's eating my pond. You know. I would approve if he didn't do that. Apparently we can do damage though. Oh, I see. When it's purple, we can't damage it. Don't look at it. I'm gonna get petrified, mate. Shit. This guy's a real pain in the ass. Yeah, there we go. It's one tentacle down. There we go. Yeah, that's definitely good too. I think our armor got upgraded. Oh, you don't need to tell me twice. She died. Come on, give me, give me enough time to fuck it up. There we go. How you like that, buddy? Big ol' attack on that. This is a really disgusting enemy, by the way. Chamber of Confusion. Victory. Another weak stone shard if I could pick it up. 
Where is it? I can't pick it up. That is quite an interesting opponent, and interesting. now we know the whereabouts of those tentacles from the Everfallens from this thing right here. So yeah, I guess we could keep moving forward now. Really? Okay, apparently our business here is finished. <laughs> Let me save it real quick. Okay, so we'll move back to the little area we were at before. And it seems... I guess we'll just have to keep going down. Right now I can't control the, the doors. But it seems we just... It's like a dungeon, basically. And you just drop your ass from floor to floor till you find a way to operate the levers. Leap into the Everfall to explore the next set of ruins, yeah? If you would heed my call, prove now your worth. Okay. Show that you've the strength to break the yoke that binds you. Did you say that? Oh, you did. Spooked. I would ask aught of you, Arisen. Please, take this. My mistress gathered their like as she sought her way through the depths. She died as she was done. If you would take up her task, pray bring them here to me. How I trust that you will see my mistress' will done. How did people even find this place before? I shall await you further on. It crumbled under. So it was sealed up pretty good. Wake stone, fairy stone. Wait, what? It was a long road we walked, and yet come to an end so soon. I'll never forget it. All right, I have no idea what she's talking about, but uh, we got a quest now. Fathom deep. Follow the pond's instructions and collect the necessary wake stones. We got four out of twenty. So I'll just go through there, I guess. This would be the safest path to the next level. And I guess we use the fairy stone to go back to the top or something. Fuck. Let me see. Where should I jump next? A little risen skydive in here. All right, we'll uh, we'll try to head to that area from here. See if we can reach it. Come on! Oh, okay, that works without me just slamming into the ground. I'm pretty sure we missed a level above the one we just came from, though. So let's see, we did the Chamber of Confusion. I'm assuming this is going to be another one. Yep. Chamber of Hesitation. What do we have here? Seems less hospitable than the previous one. Not even any pawns. Chilling here. Oh. Hey, we got some Sarans there. Got some Sarans here too. How's it going, lads? Come on, I see you. So I'm trying to be sneaky. Get out of here. Get out of here. Different swords. Do you not see my OP hammer? I'm trying to get that tail up. These lads. There's some strong lads. How are you doing? Bad mage. I feel like I've been fighting Sorens. I don't know why that was a episode before the last one when we last fought a Soren. These dudes are they got some thick skin now. There we go. And we're getting a shit ton of that speed. Snowy Soren skin. Okay, that's what these fellows are. What? An unsettling 
Alright, that takes care of all these pesky swords. Unless there's a I'm assuming there's gonna be a big sword in here. This feeling Holy this shit, that's a hydra. hydra? Here? Don't allow them yeah, I have no idea what a hydra's hydra suit here, but looks like we're gonna be fighting the big snake. I'm curious what happened to that one that was summoned by Salvation though, we never saw it again. Which I find it unfortunate. Because it would have been nice to... Was this Hydra fighting these zombies as well? Okay, I'll take advantage of it. Holy shit, we're not... We're barely doing any damage to these Hydras. Okay, so these zombies are probably going to be annoying. Let's take care of them. As I said, the pawns usually get distracted by other opponents and that hydro charge just fucking... Come on, heal me. Yeah, give me that. Good loving. Fucking hydro. Interrupting my dank heals. It's rude. God, things. On a good news, at least we get to fight the hydro. I go full fight against the Hydra, unlike the beginning, which was quickly ended after. That is some nice, nice animation. Very realistic snake movement, I guess you could call it. All these enemies drop like stone shards, that's good. That means we wouldn't need to do too many fights to get our objective, but... Holy shit, this is hard. Come on, Les. We got this. Fight the snakes. I think it might be weak against the fire, so... If I can actually try to get a major attack... Come on, Casca. Fuck you, Casca, don't help her. Alright, don't charge me while I'm trying to do this, okay? Just, uh. Come on. Not the. Okay, I'll just glitch through you. I usually don't like doing this because, uh. It's so slow moving. There we go. Barely did anything. Okay. Alright, as you guys probably figured, I uh, couldn't defeat the Hydra. That thing was way too strong, and seems they are weak against slashing weapons. And I'm using a blunt weapon, so that wasn't going to work out anytime soon. But I will continue exploring here, see if I can reach that spot right there. I can't reach that spot right there, so I'll reach this one instead. Seems there's going to be a lot of trial and error to get to these spots. And trying to remember which this ones I got to. It's a very confusing place. I'm assuming there's going to be a lot of farming. And I'm not sure. We just need 20 wake stone shards to advance this quest. But I'm not sure what the point of us, Chamber of Tragedy, of us being down here is. Oh, what the fuck? Those are succubus. How's it going, Lassus? What is that black stuff? Oh, it's a spooky ghost. Yeah, you're spooky, guys. So we get some harder opponents. And it seems each of these chambers has like a speci special boss that we gotta take care of. But I'm assuming since we're getting fairy stones and whatnot that we can actually leave this dungeon and come back. It's gonna be a lot of farming. But I'm gonna see how far we can go before I start farming. 
And if it's just some... Something like... I, I don't know if you played Persona 3, but... It, there's a post game. Or a... What is it usually called? It's not a prologue, but... An epilogue, that's what it is. I'm not sure if this is pretty much just an epilogue that they have in the base game. And why is this thing not that? Just... And if it's like Persona 3, Persona 3's epilogue, it's it's going to be a lot of grinding. Which it seems like it's going to be. This freaking ghost, I can't... Okay. Alright, so I'll just skip to... Actually, never mind. We are making progress, I just got to ignore that spooky ghost. It's so persistent. And even though my weapon's enhanced, it's not really doing any good damage to it. But, where's my lantern? I need to use this. It's a bit dark down here. There we go. They're harpies, their skin isn't that hard. Oh, okay, that's a gargoyle. That, that has hard skin. Get out of here, gargoyle. I think I just completed a quest by doing it. Oh boy. Yeah, it's time for a healing item. So that ghost didn't drop anything worth just a balmy perfume and it seems his door is locked, so... Maybe we'll... Have to go to that other side. Quite a confusing dungeon. It's huge. And it seems... Oh. What was that? Seems there is a lever here somewhere that we'll have to pull to open that entrance. But I'm gonna have to find a good sword to keep us back up just in case I find enemies that aren't really that weak against a, a bludge, bludge item, weapon, whatever you call it. Uh, anything else here? This chamber is much larger than the other chambers. Next time, sure. No, okay. And another weak stone shard. Oh, never mind. We got it. Something useless. So I'll skip to see if I can find a lever here. If not, then we'll have to jump down to another level. Okay, so we couldn't find a lever down there. Oh, back there. So I'm just gonna be jumping down and see what's up in the next level. There we go. <laughs> what the hell is he saying? Oh, we'll be going deeper down. Maybe there was uh, a level that we missed. Because I do remember missing one up top. So maybe it's from the top level that we'll have to open a, a lever, lever, pull a lever. <laughs> However you say it. And what is this? What is this? This doesn't look friendly. Hmm. Let me just save it real quick. This doesn't look very friendly at all. A lot of hellfire and shit. <laughs> oh, there's pawns. Wait, isn't isn't this where we fought the dragon? Looks awfully familiar. And how is this? All underground. How's it going, mate? Holy shit. Okay. So these are the... These are the pawns they were talking about, I guess. That we're hostile. You are not. Guy. Why, guy? Why? Pawns are pretty easy. I'm sorry, guy. You brought this upon yourself. 
That seems like an easy one, though. Then you have come. Very well, Arisen. What? 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 Before we get into the fight, let me just examine this. Hunters of the Ur Dragon player name. Oh, so when you defeat the Ur Dragon, you get to leave your name on the stone, I guess? Is that what it says? By ranking. I've killed it. Holy shit. Alright. So. The Ur Dragon is an incredibly powerful foe. Chipping more of its health each time. You seem pretty weak. Feeding the Ur Dragon in your instance. The reward depends on how much damage you dish out, or if you're really lucky, you can even deliver the final blow. Why can't that take you down? Holy shit. Okay. We're not doing that. Oh boy. So it has like one bar of health, but it is a strong dragon and we're not fucking with it. I am gonna check out what's on the other side though, so we'll ignore the fight. But we'll continue checking out what's over there. This is supposed to be the strongest dragon by the way, the Ur Dragon. I did read up on that. I didn't know how we'd find it though. Just down here. Give my level back. But yeah. My name is right here. Yeah, that's pretty much how you you find the Earth Dragon. The toughest opponent in the game, besides the Dark Arisen, I think. Dark Arisen area. Here we leave. No thanks. Oh, wicked mining. Let me just take this real quick. Slow water war. No thanks. No please. I can't skip this. Goddamn. You have fun with that, my good man. I am getting the fuck out of here. Where does this take me? The Everfall. Okay. Just a different side of the Everfall. Or is this where we came from? Why is this place so fucking confusing? God damn. And seems there. Am I back at the top? Is that. I'm not sure if I'm back at the top, but I think I might be back at the top. I can't reach this spot, can I? Yes, I can. Alright, let's check it. Let's see if I am indeed back at the top. That was like a portal. It seems like that was the bottom of Chamber of Fate. Now we haven't done this one. Seems like that was the bottom of the Everfall. This place feels like no other I've known. Chamber of Fate. Oh, I'm a dragon. Herpes, please. Oh, this is normal, Drake. If I'm correct, and we were at the, the the bottom, and we got sent back up, then this would be the first floor. There we go. So I'm gonna skip this fight since I've already shown a, a Drake fight. And uh, I wouldn't want to bore you with uh, this fight all over again. Since it takes ages. So after defeating that Drake, I decided to check out the rest of the chambers and it seemed to be just pretty much just grinding and fighting the same bosses, nothing unique. So I went outside Grances, well not Grances, the Everfall, and noticed there were a few quests, a few quests, one of them coming back to the Proving Grounds as you're seeing here. And there was a hideout waiting for us. But this time I had a slashing weapon, so it was much easier. 
you could slash the heads off of the hydras and they multiply they regenerate back quickly unless you set them on fire then the, you can just smack that wound constantly and that's pretty much the strategy to taking a hydra so next time we go back to the everfall i'm gonna be fighting that white hydra which is supposed to be stronger than this one the, the normal black ones and I love how she just threw a rock at it, but we'll, uh, I'll be showing more footage of it. This is just pretty much a sneak peek. And behind that chest, there is a better Cyclops helmet. So there's a... Now then, as you can see here, we're at the top of the Blue Moon Tower, and there is a dragon... dragon Rooney, A worm, actually. A wyrm. There's two types of worms. Like, one's called wyrm, and one's other worm, wyvern or something. I don't know. But one of them flies, the other one doesn't. And the Drake is the, the one that we always fight. So after we defeated the dragon, you saw all the the creatures come out of the Everfall from Grand Sword in that pit. And the world is much different now. There's a bunch of new enemies. Well, not new enemies. The Drakes, the Wild, are pretty much the, the new enemies. But, uh... The, the normal enemies are stronger and uh, you see like the, the black chimera, they call it the gore chimera that's roaming around now in Grances. There was one outside the beach of Casardis so it's pretty dangerous and there are some some weird looking goblins that are black and more dangerous than the red ones but it's not much of a difference just Tougher enemies that you encountered later in the game are all over the place now. They're not just in the late parts of the game, they're in the beginning areas. So now we'll head back to Casardis and I'll show you something else that came up. So we're back at Casardis and we noticed that our old friend Madeline's back. Hail arisen, looking dour as ever I see. I have a proposal that might put some cheer in those cheeks. Oh boy. Will you hear me? Well, it's like this. A peddler is only as good as her suppliers. For my own part, being both clever and beautiful, I've little trouble keeping an inventory. But contentment leads to failure, so I seek new weaponsmiths to supply my shop. I have a certain one in mind. A man of singular talent, but caustic temperament. <laughs> Much as you, in truth. The smith refuses audience with all but select clients. And upon such clients he bestows an idol, so as to prove his favor. If I can recover such a figurine, I would have singular right to peddle. There is no... So what say you? This is a job. Okay, so this is, this is basically the whole Thank idol you. thing. So like I mentioned before, there was a gold idol. But I never got it because I'm pretty sure it was a affordable quest. And for Nabal got executed because we proved him guilty, so we'll have to give her a bronze idol. So let me check my inventory and get that real quick. Scratch that, we had a silver idol. Completely forgot about it. We also have a cursed idol, which is just to troll people, but we're not gonna do that. Ah, oh, an idol! Wonderful! I was right to trust in you for this. So there we go. Never just an idol. icon bestowed upon only the most valued customers. I dare say it's a work of art itself. The weaponsmith will see me now, and no delay. What? You've done me a great service, Arisen. I shall plan to repay the favor when next I receive new inventory. Until then, may the Maker guide your steps. You'll find not but the finest. Okay, so I, I have no idea if her shop's gonna be like right here now. And yeah, now that I've shown you that. I was just doing the quest that you just saw before, like with the Hydra, they were just board quests, so I didn't really record them, I just, well, I, I did record them, but <laughs> I talked over the recording, didn't show the whole thing, since it wasn't really important, and now, we're gonna go back to the Everfall, and actually, let me show you the, the Gore Chimera real quick. So I'll show you the Gore Chimera and the new goblins. And other folk. There's also gargoyles flying around at night outside Grand Sword, so that that's new. The These are the, the new goblins. I forgot the name they gave them. Let me take a hit. I will so <laughs> they still barely do any damage, but they take more hits than the usual ones. What the hell is that? Oh yeah, and the, the hell though just 
are roaming around too. So there's a. I don't think this core chimera is going to spawn since I killed them, and it was pretty recent. It was just roaming down here. So next time you see me, it will be at either at the mines to show you that other new worm or the Everfall. Alright, so I didn't find anything in that ancient quarry. For some reason I was calling it a mine and this is where the inn guy is now because Take a look at that friend. But here we are cower with our heads to the sky and make our Yeah, his and building kinda got fucked. Line, ripping. What will it be today? So I'm gonna deposit something I found. And we're gonna head down to uh, the Eberfall. I'll just show you. I just wanted to show that that's where the the guy with the ing relocated. He's still alive. And Grant Soren is well, not Grant Soren. Grantus in general is a really shit place. There's hellhounds and all that shit just roaming around everywhere. And it's even worse than it was before with the monster issue. But we just need one more wake stone. A force unseen calls out from the depths. And yeah, this is where the the ing was. This is the blacksmith, and the ing was over there. So. Gives you an idea. Not sure what happened to Mason and the other people at the slum, but I'm assuming they're dead. Eh? You defeated the dragon? Yes? Yes! Huzzah for you, good sir! <laughs> and half of the, the tavern's gone too, but let's just jump down here. For a second I thought that was gonna kill me. <laughs> and I'll skip to you when I get the last stone. Oh damn, I missed one. Oh, there we go, find the last week to ensure. And one thing I gotta let you know is that hellhounds are the most annoying little shits I've ever had to deal with. But what did that say? Gather wake stones back to the pond. Where is this pond? So we'll have to we'll have to go back to the Quince pond that talked to us and uh, boy more hellhounds. Alright so we, I finally found this chick and she was all the way at the top of the freaking rift and apparently you can reach this spot from the pawns guild. You can still enter into the Eberfall from the pawns guild and this thing's gonna be right here. For some reason it's only a few steps away which doesn't make any sense because if you remember this thing was uh, quite a ways down but anything besides that lack of logic yes at last at last you've gathered the whole of them with them you can summon forth a rift of considerable power this rift born of the wakestone's power will guide you forward arisen i fear there will be no returning to this place are you prepared to journey on hmm i'm not sure what would happen if we continue but i'll leave that for the next episode so uh i hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching in the next episode i'll try to see what happens if i continue forward hopefully that doesn't mean that the game will end and it'll make you uh, play the the new game plus as it's called which starts all over so uh i'll figure it out what i'll have to do hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.